We're here at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, because this is where the OSIRIS-REx samples call home. And we have gotten our first look at the bulk material. It's just peeking out of the TAGSAM sample collection device. We got a little bit of material out to the science team for a quick look analysis, and we confirmed the major mineralogy that we predicted from our remote sensing campaign. That's water-bearing clay minerals, carbon-bearing carbonate minerals, and iron-bearing oxides and sulfides. We're also really excited by the bulk carbon content. It looks like about 4.7% by weight of the sample is carbon, which is one of the richest samples that we've ever analyzed. I'm particularly interested in the sulfide minerals because that's my area of expertise back when I was a chemist. I studied the formation of sulfides in the early protoplanetary disk, and sulfur is really important for a wide variety of reasons. The amount of sulfur inside a planet determines how it evolves, how volcanoes can melt rocks, how the metallic cores can form, and it's also really important in biology. There's sulfur-bearing amino acids, which play essential roles in protein folding and protein structure, so it feeds into our origin of life investigation as well. 